Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. If you like what I'm doing, hit like. If you want to see other games, hit subscribe. Alright, we're going to head over to Mother's Heart to talk to Roast. To Rost. Let's go. It's almost time for the cruising. Alright, Mother's Heart. Let's do this. So, it's time. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should Tell I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are they gonna let me in? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Any last advice? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. I'm ready right, to do I'm this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. What? No. I it's not. You. you taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. I have to let him go. For now. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Man, it sounds like a lot of people. You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! 
Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Look at this place. Correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. You really think the Karja want to make peace? Ha! The red rays will come again. You wait and see. Cool, got a new outfit. Oh my god, is that a concert? Oh, 
not supposed to go climbing on other people's no, roofs, huh? At the festival this year. Oh, okay. Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you Listen want is for me to have no fun at all! But you'll have to just tell this when I'm gone. Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. Came from all mother. Who climbs better than? Machines and okay. Beasts. All were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Okay. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them. Promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one All Mother provided. A world of metal. Okay. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother at first the machines did as they had promised they built cities great and terrible monuments to their sins but they would not serve the faithless for long a king rose up among the machines a machine more powerful than any other the metal devil and then the faithless devil, served huh? him served the machines that was not enough for the metal devil he wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from all mother they would not go they gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever the metal devil raged louder than thunder in his fury he came to confront all mother intending to kill her she struck him down forever as you know for his lifeless body is up there still frozen in shame and defeat the machines were driven mad by the death of their king and their minds became as wild as beasts the faithless abandoned their cities okay. forced to wander the world without the care of the machines only we remain the true children of all mother we built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. Searching for little Nora boys and really? girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. Huh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Listen carefully now. Is going to for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all yep. the is going I stole some shit. Aloy, over here. doing here karst what are you doing here careful pretend like we've never met i wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds remember how could i forget and how generous of you to talk to me now don't be like that you know i'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow and wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win and if you need any last minute supplies uh, i'm your man So, Why did you come? Mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck.
See you later, Karst. Good luck. I don't even know what I just bought. I just, uh, you know, bought a bunch of things. It sounded cool. Everyone's acting like these cursed Karja are honored guests. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the hand slavers. of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold Luminance. your fruit, Nora. Uh, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Okay. Right, thank you. See that. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th Luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your detected. No, the Karja stand with you. As the sun is focus or another personal device for secure network connections. As those you have nurtured take their place among your prayers. Just like mine. We join your prayers. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Tell me about Olin. Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I mustn't mutton, mutton chops. That was quite a speech. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. 
Tell I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. Alright, I'll go. I should make my way to the blessing. blessing yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Everyone's acting like these cursed cards are on your guests. How am I supposed to enjoy myself with those bloodthirsty Karja faithless hanging up? I wonder what's going on with the Karja. We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, Light oh, that guy. its flame. In honor of my mother, whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. One of them sounds like uh, somebody from Avatar. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Yeah. What is it? Why there's someone else? Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Yeah, I did. Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Where did you find I've never seen focus? anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke focus earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? 
It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Why are you lying to me? You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Who are you? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. King's court. I don't understand. Like a little bit more from you, man. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> that was ominous. May old mother forget them and all their worthless deeds. It's like, uh, we we're about to be invaded again. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Man. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? Guys. But no one hears your prayers anyway. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. It's not for Too you bad to for you that I'm gonna win it, then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. Oh, you wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. 
Uh, uh. I'm gonna go to bed. Or should I talk to her? Nice yeah, job handling her. Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? It's loud. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has Not bad. certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. yourselves what will it take to get you out of here Looks like you'll need another.
Bullshit. Gotta catch up. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! Strong, I thought. <laughs> Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and find Who's me? I can't see! Box! The follow right behind us! Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? Made it. <laughs> now hurry. Keep at it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I've trained my whole life for this. They had a tribe, but I had the wilds. Precision. Not enough. Must be perfect. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving? Never. For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among you. Ah! Dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Too many of them! We can't win! Can't hold them! Oh, Mother, help us! Kill the defilers! Kill the invader! 
Descend while we have a chance. and disappears without a trace.
took his ass out. Guess I should have done that first time. I'll tuck that away. Oh! <sighs> 
have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? Alright guys. That was some creepy stuff. Some very interesting stuff too. Especially with that weird dream. But I'm going to leave it for you for another time. We'll, exp we'll explore the cave later. See you guys later. Peace.